Hello, it's good to see you. Okay, this is a back care workout using a stability ball. If you've got a stability ball, you want to blow it up so that when you sit on the ball, your knees are either in line um, as mine are, or actually they're a little bit lower and you're, you're actually sat up a little bit higher on the ball. Okay, um, and it's a really nice, gentle session with the ball to just help, help open out um, release any tension that you're holding in your back and to just get your back moving um, in all different directions. So we're going to start sitting on the ball. Have your legs wider than hip width apart. Okay, sitting up nice and tall. Same as when we're standing, have a feeling of lengthening through the spine and the head is just balanced on the top. And if you want to, just close your eyes and just focus on how that feels. Okay, opening your eyes. We're just going to shift the ball gently from side to side. Now, if you do a lot of sitting during the day, you might uh, wonder why we're sitting again. But sitting on the ball is a bit different. You have to hold your posture, you have to hold yourself more, use those muscles, and there is movement all the time when you're sat on the ball because of having to stay balanced. So it's a much better option for sitting um, than sitting on a hard, immobile chair. Okay, so just taking the hips side to side. And you may find as you're doing this that you can just take the legs a bit wider and just start to work side to side, get a little bit of side movement through the, the lower back. This should feel quite nice. Okay, come back to centre. And then we're just going to roll the ball forwards as we tuck under and roll the ball back again as we hollow. So if I turn this way, you can see better. So we're just going to scoop the tailbone under, a little curve in the lower back, then come to centre and then roll the ball backwards and take the back into slight extension. So tucking under and hollow. So just taking it, rolling the ball forwards and backwards, just in a range of movement that feels comfortable for you. So tucking under and releasing, well done. And again, if it feels it eases, you can always take that movement a little bit bigger if you want to. Just do one more, come back to centre, and then we're gonna take it into circles. You're gonna take it over to the side, tuck under, round to the other side behind you and let's keep going let's keep going in the same direction so you're drawing a circle with the ball on the floor and again keeping the range of movement um, or that circle you know in, in a, to a point that's comfortable for you okay let's change direction Makes a funny noise on the mat. Okay, so you may find again as it is as you can take that circle a little bit bigger, round to the side, round behind you. Try and keep sitting up tall as you're doing it. Just get some movement through that lower back that if you have been sitting all day may have become very compressed and sticky and stiff. Okay, and then just come back to centre and we're just going to take some little bounces. This is a really nice thing just to help um, lubricate the spine. So again, we're, we're trying to um, get the movement back in, into, the, into the back, make it a bit more flexible, a bit more springy rather than sticky and compressed. So just doing little bounces. Okay, let's so come to sitting still. Let's take a reach over to the side and to the other side. So a little side bend here. Now if you want to, we're going to um, bend one leg, you can take the weight over onto your left leg, extend the right leg and extend that side stretch a bit more. If that is too much for your back, just stay with what we did last time. Roll the ball over. So you can keep the feet close together or take them further apart like I'm doing now, reaching over. 
and reaching it over. Well done. Bring the feet back, make sure the hip are just wide and hip width apart. Let's take it into a spine twist. So you're going to put your left hand on the outside of your right knee, right hands on the back of the ball, sit up tall and just turn to the back of the room. And then release, change sides. Remember to sit up nice and tall first. You'll get better movement through the spine if you're lengthening. And release, well done. Now chin to chest. Roll down through the back. And roll down just as far as you're comfortable. We're sitting, so um, it takes the pressure off the back as we're rolling forwards because the legs are bent. Curling back up, coming back up to sitting up tall, and again, chin to chest, curling down, relaxing over the legs, curling back up again, and sitting up tall, well done. Okay, we're going to take it onto the floor now. The ball's in front of you, and we're just going to take the hands on the ball like we're taking it into a child's pose. So you're sitting on your heels and you're just reaching away, allowing the armpits to drop to the floor, the chest to open, and just take a little bit of extension through the upper back here. Feel that stretch through the shoulders. So again, if you've been sitting or you're hunched forwards over a computer or anything like that, lovely stretch here just to help rebalance that posture. Stay here. If you want to, you can roll forwards on the ball a little bit, lifting the hips up and just dropping the chest down a bit more and extending through the back here. If that's uncomfortable, stick with what we did before and then roll back into your child's pose. Then rolling forwards. Again, you're just allowing that space underneath your tummy, um, your, your tummy to drop into that space and the back to extend and hollow and come back and again one more time and coming back well done okay stay with the ball um, and bring it to one side you're still kneeling your other hand's going to go on the floor um, right hand on top of the ball at 180 degrees and just drop the shoulder down here so you're just dropping, opening up through the chest, feeling a, front, a stretch through the front of the chest here. Again, if it's tight at the front of our chest, it's going to pull the shoulders forward, cause us to have more of a hunched posture. Okay, bring the ball to 45 degrees, do the same thing. You'll feel that stretching more in the armpit, under the arm. And bring it back in. Bring the ball in close to you, bend the elbow so it's at... Uh, right angles, you can see that on the ball, and again just drop the shoulder into the ball. Nice deep stretch right into the shoulder. And release. Okay, let's do the same the other side. So the ball's to your left, left hand on the ball at 180 degrees, right hand on the floor. Just bend that supporting arm, feel that stretch through the front of the chest. And into the shoulder and then bring the ball to 45 degrees and again drop fill the change in the position of that stretch and then bring the ball in close to you hand uh, elbow at 180 degrees again just dropping the, the shoulder into the ball Well done. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of strength work now through the upper back, again to help rebalance any forward posture. So you're going to lay over the ball, so you're on your knees and you're laying over the ball. Now again, you can um, adjust this if you need to as we get going. You're going to have the arms out to the side, so um, my chest is on the ball, my chin's just to the front of the ball. I'm engaging through the tummy and then I'm just lifting my collarbone and my upper ribs off the ball and then I'm relaxing over. So I'm drawing the shoulder blades down and away from the ears, peeling the collarbone off, just lip working. You'll feel this mid back, the upper back working and I'm relaxed down. Keep that tummy connected so you're supporting the lower back 
Don't worry if you're not lifting high. And again, lengthen and lift. Exhale as you lift. Just lift as high as is comfortable for you. And lower one more. And relax down. Well done. Okay, you're going to come onto your back now. And you're going to bring the ball in nice and close to the bottom. And the knees are over the ball, the feet's relaxed on the ball. And let's just uh, release through the lower back a little bit. So take your arms out to the side and gently just roll the ball from one side to the other. So this is really nice for that lower back. Now you can just, depends how fragile your back is feeling, you can just do small ones as I'm doing here. If you want to take it a bit wider, I suggest taking your legs wider on the ball. Little grip there, just a little bit of inner thigh activation and just rolling you can roll a bit further then without having to sort of fall over or feeling like you're going to roll over yep so you can just roll through the back keeping the shoulders down keeping the other other body upper body relaxed little engagement through the waist here nothing too strenuous though because we just want to release through the lower back without creating too much more tension okay bring the legs back on top walk the ball away a little bit so that your feet is, are on the ball but your knees are bent and we're just going to roll the ball out and back in so a slight uh, mild connection here with those lower abdominals keeping a neutral spine just give a little bit of traction there through the lower back but again um, just focusing on your alignment, your posture, and keeping this, um, maintaining this strength here through these deep abdominals. So, although you've got the ball supporting your leg, you're still working. A little bit of strength work going on. Exhale as you lengthen. Inhale as you come back in. Okay, we're going to take the legs out, keep the legs out and just gently little rocks from side to side. And again, that should feel quite nice on the lower back, just a little rocking movement through the pelvis, releasing right down low through those sitting bones. And actually, you could probably, you may find you could stay here all day. <laughs> and do this it's lovely and relaxing okay bring the legs back to center just extend the arms away just lengthen out the body because again if you've been sat you've been standing all day gravity has its effects and gradually pulls you down so we want to lengthen you again so that when you stand up you're a couple of inches taller than you were a little while ago so lengthen away, nice full body stretch. If you feel comfortable and you want to roll the ball a little bit further away, you can. Bringing the arms down, rolling the ball back in. Okay, come over onto your side, bring yourselves up to sitting. And we're going to do a little extension over the ball. Now, if your back is feeling particularly fragile, delicate, um, I probably recommend not doing this one but you need to be the judge of that you know how your body feels so just listen to your body um, let me show you just have a watch first so you know what's coming so we're going to tuck under and we're going to walk the feet forwards a bit bring the arms to the side if that helps you sort of feel a bit more confident and we're just going to roll so we're extending over the ball and then you can bring the arms behind you for a more intense sort of extension and stretch or you can keep the arms by the side and then to come back up you can have your hands at the side we lift the chin push the back into the ball push 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 to come back up to sitting now so this won't be for any everyone it's quite intense but it is a lovely way to open out through your spine the anterior part of your spine and to open up through the joints of the vertebrae and when we spend all our position all our day like this it's a really good exercise to do so it might be one to work up towards 
but if you want to have a go, I'll go through it with you again. So we're going to just tuck under slightly, have your hands at the side, roll back, you need a bit of control there, have your hands at the side and just allow the head to fall back and open. Keep the hands at the side or reach the arms behind you and you can play, if you're happy here, you can play with the position of the ball a little bit and you might find actually I'm just going to wiggle my feet out a bit, roll the ball so that the um, extension comes in a slightly different place in your spine depending on where you feel you need it. And you can see I'm sort of gently rocking here as well, that feels good, but you do what feels good for you. Don't stay there too long, just a little while, all the blood will rush to your head otherwise. Okay, and you're going to bring your hands around to the side, push into the ball, push, push, push with your legs, push with the abdominals, walk the feet in and bring yourselves back up. Let's chin to chest, let's just roll the back the other way. So if you've done that, you can do it a couple of times, just stay there for sort of like 10 seconds or so, and then make sure you roll forwards, take the back in the opposite direction as well, just so we've got, um, we're, we're increasing that uh, fluidity in the spine. Okay, well done. Sitting up nice and tall. If you want to do that extension, back extension, again, you can. Otherwise, let's just finish with those stretches we did at the beginning. Just seeing how easier it feels now. Into your spine twist. And the other way. And back to me, chin to chest, roll down, curling back up, and little bounces. Well done, little circles, and the other way. Come back to sitting up nice and tall, just lengthen through the spine, shoulders are down, the head is balancing on the top. Well done. I hope that's helped you, your back, give you some relief and so on. Let me know in the comments how you get on and uh, I will see you again very, very soon. Take care.